Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe below if you'd like to know more about me and my boring life. Today, got some makeup on, feeling sassy. I'm going to um, the BBC Academy in Birmingham for a panel which has four people who work in the digital sphere in Birmingham. I know it's so exciting and fancy. Um, and it's hosted by Emma Gannon, which is really what I'm most excited about, I'll be honest, because she does a podcast called Control Alt Delete and she's written her own book. Uh, if you haven't heard of her, then you should go and Google her now and you'll be quite impressed because she's really cool and not in an annoying way. So, let's go there. Let's see what they've got to say. It starts at one, um, so there's a panel and then there's uh, they split you up into workshops. So I hope there's not too much interaction with other people because that would be awkward. Um, but I will film as much as I possibly can. Take you along with me. On the panel, but Emma Gannon's joined us today. She's a writer, writes for women's magazines, been writing for about eight years. She's um, a blogger, she's, sorry, been writing for a lot longer than eight years, been blogging for about eight years, a podcaster more recently, and has a multi hyphenate career. Basically, she's bringing back the portfolio career, jack of all trades, as she says. <laughs> um, she's extremely, we're really lucky to have her here in Birmingham. She's just been flown off to LA recently. So happy to be with this amazing panel of very different creatives, and I can't wait to learn from you. I think it's going to be a really great uh, discussion. With a channel of about 66,000 people right now. Um, my focus is mainly in the beauty industry, so I do a lot of like makeup, fashion, and uh, beauty, and skincare, and everything. <laughs> but yeah, I've been on YouTube for the past about six years. I started when I was still in Croatia, I moved here for university primarily two years ago, but that's really when I started focusing on YouTube and where it actually became my like kind of job and passion and everything kind of started tying in together. Um, when I first started, I think it's good to mention that I had no clue about video production, post-production, English. <laughs> so and like I had horrible confidence and so it's really funny to look back now at my first videos and seeing you know how far you can come by actually just experimenting with the technology and just seeing where it takes you. Okay, so hi, I'm here with Adriana. Adriana. She has her own YouTube channel. What, oh, do you want to see what it's called? Yeah, it's Adriana Braille. So it's a little bit of a. <laughs> yep. And she's a beauty blogger, and she's been teaching us all about um, how to start a YouTube channel. She's very experienced in lighting, especially. Oh, she gives you. a very like in-depth masterclass all about that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop on with her and uh, make sure you go and check out her channel. Yeah. Um, she's so lovely and friendly and Thank she's you. given us loads of good tips today um, at the BBC. So, Thank you yeah, so much. Thank and check you so much. Out. And if you're not subscribed to her channel, it's uh, right underneath there. Yeah. So <laughs> don't forget to click as well. It's cool. been a pleasure to meet you today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm just back from my date at the BBC. I'm just going to show this one. Crush a bit noisy. Just back from my afternoon at the BBC Academy in Birmingham. Had so much fun. My head's like filled with so much knowledge <laughs> that I now need to go and apply uh, to my blog, etc. There was four speakers there. One from a website, one who does Periscope, one who does Instagram, one who does YouTube. And it was hosted by Emma Gannon, who, guys, I'm so proud of myself. Because I was terrified, filled with anxiety. Nobody, um, not everyone was speaking to Emma, like, but I was like, fuck it, I'm probably not going to get this chance to speak to her ever again. So I waited and spoke to her and um, just thanked her for talking about mental health on her podcast because I feel like it's uh, really important that people talk about these subjects when they have the platform to do so. So she said thank you and like I honestly thought I was going to have a panic attack. And I just said to her, like, I'm really panicking about this. And she gave me a hug and she was so adorable. So um, I really embarrassingly asked her for a selfie as well. So I'll, I'll insert that picture here just as proof that I did actually have the courage to speak to her. And she was so, so nice. Like, I could just wish I could keep her in my pocket because I feel like she would just tell me nice things all the time and make me feel good about myself. So, uh, yeah, I'm proud of myself that I did that. I'm proud of myself that I went to the whole day, spoke to loads of new people that I'd never met before, and it was great. I was really glad I did it. So, I am now just going to catch up on all the emails that I missed today, and um, 
do a little bit of work I think and tidy up the house and just have a chilled evening. This lipstick's getting a bit past its best isn't it? Yeah I think it's time to take this off and go into relaxation mode so I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and please 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 subscribe uh, below it would mean the world to me so yeah I'll see you in the next video. Bye!